Hi, I'm Matt Cookson, the winemaker at the winery at Holy Cross Abbey. Welcome to the winery in beautiful winter time in Colorado here. The vines are asleep, but we've had a great harvest this year. We crushed just about 150 tons of grapes this year, which is quite a bit. We've got some beautiful wines over in the tanks. We're starting to put stuff into the barrel and also into the bottle. So we're going to go over to the bottling area and check out some of the fabulous things we created. We're right in the middle of the bottling process right now, trying to get some of our sweet red wines into the bottle. We're doing about a thousand gallons of wine today. We'll probably do another 500 gallons of wine tomorrow. The goal is to try to get about 4,000 gallons in the bottle this month. And bottling for the winery now has become a full-time process. We're basically bottling 10 to 11 months out of the year, with that other month being the time when we're crushing grapes and making wine again. And so we do about 13,000 cases of wine a year now, which is 150,000 bottles of wine, which obviously keeps us pretty busy. We start basically from the tank back behind me here, go through the filtration process to get the wine nice and clean and clear. Yeah, we're talking about filtration because that's one of the major parts we have to do before we bottle the wine. We have to get it clarified and make it look nice before we get it in the bottle. But it's important to filter because the filter also pulls out any yeast, bacteria, or any things that might cause problems in the bottle later on down the road. Once we get done with the filter, then we go to the sparger. Basically, the person is sparging the bottle with nitrogen to get any excess oxygen out of the bottle before we fill the bottle. Then the bottle goes to the filler. It goes around through the filler, gets filled with wine. And then it goes to the sipper. The sipper will actually suck a little bit of the excess wine off the top of the bottle to make sure that the fill height is correct. Then we'll go around to the corker. The corker is going to pull the vacuum, get that cork in the bottle, put the foil on it, go down to the labeler, get to the labeler, labels on, bottle is legal to sell. Goes into the box and ready for sale.